the engines have been fired out on the demi grid and the green flag waves out we go for 10 minutes of qualifying in drs 62 let's take you on a quick lap around this classic circuit so from, from the exit of the demi grid to go out onto the pit straight which is a, not straight at all into this corner billy's blind one of those famous corners in all of british kart racing a double apex very fast right hander into the S's, that right-left S's, out onto Sturmey Straight, which we're looking at on our screens now. Down Sturmey Straight, into the hairpin at turn number four. Out of the hairpin, you come up a very short uh, little shoot into the horseshoe, a double apex left-hander. You can see the carts coming out of there now on your screens. Through turn number six, and then into the top bend, which you can see now. The en entrance to the pit lane is on the right-hand side of your screen. So they come out of top bend, back downhill ever so slightly onto the pit straight towards Billy's Blind. So 850 metres. Now I've driven this track many times back a long time ago in the, in the last century, uh, in fact, in the 1990s. And uh, there is no track in the UK which has a, uh, a flay, a, 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 a rhythm to it, like Clay Pigeon. Every corner just rolls into another on what is a very sunny day here. The temperature is due to pick up significantly this afternoon. There's not a cloud in the sky. We are uh, near the town of Yeovil in uh, Dorset in England. Uh, so it's the most southerly stop of the DRS series this year. So you had Rissington in the Cotswolds, Clay Pigeon now in Dorset. Dorset. In a couple of weeks' time, we'll be going up to Shannington near Banbury in Oxfordshire for round three and be finishing the championship at Wilton Mill in Daventry at the end of October. So uh, after a sort of a delayed start to the season through the COVID situation, we then had our opening round at Rissington in July, a two month gap, and now three races in just about a month's time to decide the 2020 Daniel Ricciardo Series champions. But uh, we'll get them all a chance, give the drivers a chance to get their warm up lap out of the way. And then we will be in uh, to the real fast lappery at the moment. The first driver to show their speed is driver number four. Someone does a little brief spin down there at uh, Billy's Blind. But it's Jamie Gurney, a lap time of 40.662 seconds. Uh, he leads the way at the moment. Josh Turbull, second at uh, 40.993. So seven minutes to go now the drivers are going to be into their rhythm it's gurney jack robinson goes second fastest at 40.775 that is in cart number 129 uh, then it's connor scaris brick josh turnbull archie heron your top five jasmine taylor in cart number 106 is up into sixth position as you can see the number seven cart of turnbull making a move to the inside now drivers in qualifying they'll want to uh, not battle side by side they'll want to try and do their best to uh sort of run nose to tail in a slipstream in the draft of course play pigeon is renowned for you know because it's such a fast flowing circuit you can get a real toe and a real slipstream uh, around here through the s's they go uh, number four making a move to the inside there that would be jamie gurney now he wants to try and get on the rear bumper of josh turnbull so he's getting the uh, number 63 cart of george barker out of the way he wants to be able to just follow gurney around Uh, you see all the rookies on the black plates. There's a, a good number of rookies here. In fact, over half the field, the championship rookies. Yeah, but there is on your screens the number three cart, I believe, at Archie Heron. The blue race suit going around. Uh, no, the four cart, sorry. Uh, of Jamie Gurney in the, in the blue race suit. He is uh, at the moment second fastest. Robinson has gone quickest of all in cart number 129. And there's Archie Heron tucking in behind Jamie Gurney as they go off to the hairpin. And. Uh, Jack Robinson, cart number 129, 40.606 seconds. Gurney is second at 40.662 in cart number four. Then it's the number 121 cart of Scary's Brick in cart uh, number 121, 
40.694. Turnbull in cart eight is then a 40.865. Ollie Morrish is fifth in cart number 113 uh, with a time of 41.019. Then it's Archie Heron sixth. George Barker is seventh fastest. Harry Barker is eighth. Jasmine Taylor ninth. And James Roberts rounding out the top 10. Uh, 25 drivers in total on track. So uh, we did have one driver that sadly failed to turn up. I'm not quite sure who that is. Uh, good welcome back to the championship for Jamie Warner in cart number 101. Uh, he missed at Rissington and is here now. So it is four and a half minutes to go. So just over half distance. There is your pole sitter flashing through the screen. Coming out of top end now, number 129. That is Jack Robinson again, very impressive. But look at the th three, possibly the, say the three most experienced drivers in the class. The number seven of Turbo, the number four of Gurney, and number three of Heron. All trying to work together to get that slipstream. They come down towards, uh, into the horseshoe now. You can see Gurney right up behind Turbo. All the drivers are identical cars, identical, what? Well, same chassis, same engine package. It's all down to driver skill. Number three, Archie Heron is about five or six cart lengths behind them. But you can see now the four cart will get a real slip from you. Push the number seven along. So number seven, Turnbull is doing all the hard work there. And uh, the number four cart of Gurney is, uh, you know, just really getting the... All the, all the and the benefits of being in the slipstream and the draft. Into the top bend they go. It's still Robinson in cart number one, two, uh, nine, who is fastest, but he hasn't improved his time the last few laps. We'll try and find out where uh, Robinson is on circuit. And I think that uh, focusing on this battle on track, this battle, it's uh, these two drivers, the championship leader, number seven, Turnbull, and uh, the number four of Gurney, who runs second in the championship. So the championship stop two. And uh, good to see a few people showing, uh, chiming in already on the live stream comments. So we've got Nikki Taylor, one of our DRS 100 drivers, who's not here uh, this weekend. And uh, Nikki Taylor was, 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 I believe, second in the point standings. But again, three out of four rounds count. So drivers can uh, drop a round. Uh, so hopefully we'll see Nikki back at the next round at Shennington. Of course. All the members of the Daniel Ricardo series family are, are having their own issues to deal with in terms of there's certain uh, COVID related restrictions at different parts of the country which can prevent drivers from uh, attending these races. Uh, so we're just battling on as best we can and a big credit to all the drivers and their families for continuing to support us. We're into the final two minutes now. Of this session still Robinson leads. It's Robinson from Gurney from Scarisbrick. The top three. Turnbull is fourth fastest. Heron is fifth. Sherry Ann Powell sixth. Then Ollie Morris seventh. George Barker in eighth. Harry Bartle ninth. And Jamie Scott rounding out the top ten. Uh, Jasmine Taylor is eleventh fastest, followed by Jamie James Roberts, Rory Armstrong, Eddie Stewart, Ewan Scott, Finley Lines, Thomas Min Spearing, and Adam Bourne. Then rounding out the top twenty is Jackson Lane and Maximilian Reed. And looking down at the uh, times, well, Maximilian Reed in 20th place, he's at a 41.6, so one second separating the top 20 at the moment as the pole, provisional pole sitter is number 129, a rookie now, Jack Robinson. He was fantastic in qualifying at Rissington as well. So obviously, the rookie driver, a bit of a qualifying special. There he goes through the... S is down towards the horseshoe and uh, number 129 there with a white, plain white crash helmet. He's using the slipstream of, I think that is the
100. And a thank you to all the drivers we interviewed. We've got, we've got a bunch of them. Here is the grid, the starting lineup for the opening heat race of the day. Jack Robinson in cart number 129 will start from pole position alongside Jamie Gurney in cart number four. On row two, we have championship leader Josh Turnbull in cart seven and Archie Heron. And on row three, Sherry Ann Powell and Jamie Scott. Row four, we see Ollie Morris in cart number 113 and George Barker in cart 63. Harry Bartle and Jasmine Taylor round out the top ten with James Roberts and Ewan Scott sharing row number six. Row seven, Rory Armstrong and Adam Bourne uh, start there. And then it's Eddie Stewart and Finley Lines on row number eight. Row nine, Thomas Mean Spearing and Jackson Lane. Row 10, Maximilian Reed and Archie Pitts Drake. Row 11, Daxton Groves and Oscar Cole. Jamie Warner and Archie Cole start on row number 12. And rounding out the 13 rows of the grid, Zach McDonald, who didn't set the time in qualifying, and Connor Scarisbrick, watch for Connor, who was excluded after qualifying, started right up at the front. Two rolling laps. It is a championship rookie leading the way. Then seven of the more experienced drivers chasing him down, led by our current championship leader. In to the hairpin they go. Now up towards the horseshoe. Uh, out of the horseshoe, they will come into turn number six, which is that right-hander. Leads them onto the very short, sharp top straight. Now into top bend. 26 contenders all together. They come out of top bend. They're going to go around again. You can see the signal there. It's the, the, they wiggle their fingers around in the air. Say one more time around because some of the back markers are still to catch up to the pack. A very short lap here. So not a lot of time for the drivers to. get into position. And ooh, there's a couple of drivers that went for a spin. Oh my word. And that is coming into the thing. Who's that number? 132. That's Maximilian Reed uh, getting going there. But uh, have another rolling lap. So this is the fourth rolling lap. I think number 122 was also involved there, Adam Bourne. Right, let's see if anyone coming into the picture. Looking out there, number 129. That was the. Well, was that our pole sitter? It was our pole sitter. Jack Robinson spinning on the rolling lap. I'm looking down there, and he's got some serious damage on the front of that cart. Uh, we're looking at the drivers now coming into the horseshoe. Uh, the field is still quite spread out. Matt Daniels there telling them to slow down. And I think our pole man is going to have to start from the back. So there was at least three or four drivers that got held up. They're all rookies. And uh, Archie Pitts Drake was another one of them. Now, we're going to go around again to give the pole sitter a chance to slow down. Now, what the drivers need to do, they need to, instead of accelerating, Stay nice and slow. To give the drivers the back a chance to catch up. Now, will Robinson try and regain his grid position? Uh, also touring round, going quite slow indeed, is James Roberts in cart number 114. I'm wondering if he is going to try and slow down and let the fields catch him up. But it does look as though it's the four and the seven. Gurney and Turnbull. And then the three and the eight of uh, Heron and Powell, who have got the top two rows in the grid now. So our pole sitter, well, Scare is breaking cart number 121, who was uh, second or third fastest in qualifying. He is starting down at the back. Our pole sitter also starting down at the back. After an incident on the rolling lap, here we go. They're going to keep it nice and slow. And... 
Lights are out. We're off and racing here at Clay Pitch in DRS 62. Down towards Billy's Blind we go for the first time. And it is Josh Turnbull in cart number seven who takes the early lead. Let's see everybody's going to get round that corner cleanly. On to Sturmy straight for the first time. Turnbull leads. Second place is the number four of Jamie Gurney. There is Sherry and Powell in third position. Archie is fourth place rather behind. Third place cart number three, Archie Heron. And, and Powell under pressure there coming into the horseshoe for the first time. Now the leaders come out onto top straight into top bend. Championship leader Joshua Turnbull leads the way in DRS 62 at the end of lap one of this eight minutes plus one lap heat race. And look at that multi-colored snake of carts all trying to slipstream with one another as they head into Billy's once again with the number four cart of Gurney sitting there in second. Heron is third. A little gap back to Ann Powell. You can see the bright pink race suit in fourth place. And towards the hairpin and into the horseshoe for the second time. And uh, still nobody able to break away. And who is that in fifth position? That is number six, Jamie Scott, challenging Sherry Ann Powell. The top five trying to break away from the leading rookie. The leading rookie is now number 63, George Barker. So Barker is there in sixth position, and just behind Barker is Harry Bartle. Now, Connor Scarisbrick is already up in the 12th place from 26th on the grid. There goes a move from Sherry and Powell, passing Archie Heron into the S's. Great move. That's a classic Billy's blind move. Just uh, take a wider line into the first half of the corner and then tighten at the second apex. It's a change, a challenge for the lead as Gurney gets side by side with Turnbull. He gets Great move coming out of the hairpin there to take the lead before he has to make his turn in for the horseshoe. And still, nobody able to break away at the front of this DRS 62 pack. In fact, looking down, I think we've got a group of eight drivers, eight, maybe nine drivers. Jasmine Taylor in cart number 106 at the back of the leading group. So the lead group at the moment. And there is uh, Gurney running a little bit wide through Billy's. Now into the S's. It's Gurney, Turnbull, Sherry Ann Powell in third place. Heron in fourth. Scott is fifth. Barker, Bartle, Morris and Taylor. And that's your lead group. And there's a move to the inside. Archie Heron trying to get third place back at the hairpin from Sherry Ann Powell. But Sherry Ann Powell holds him off. And now Heron getting past the inside going through the horseshoe bend up towards top bend now through turn number six into top bend that long long right hand that leads them out they'll take a lot of curb on the exit you can just see them coming off that curb now on the start finish straight which is like i said anything but straight it's downhill they flick left they've got to try and keep the card over the left hand side of the circuit to take a right hander into billy's and now after this lead nine, the next cart in line is the number 121 in 10th position of Connor Scarys Brick. You can see that big gap coming out of the S's there. And uh, Scarys Brick already has passed over half the field. Our pole sitter, uh, number 129 Jack Robinson, is yet to feature into the top. He's up to 18th place, so Robinson is making progress as well. But there go the lead group, and there, just flashing onto your screen very briefly, was Scaris Brick. But uh, now, Gurney trying to pull away with Turnbull in his wheel tracks. A little bit of a gap developing back to third place, Sherry Ann Powell. So here's your two leaders. You can tell that Turnbull was pushing Gurney along through the S's onto Sturmy Straight. And again, Turnbull checking over his shoulder. Gurney not defending into the corner. Takes a wide line in. There's a little camber on the inside of that corner. It flicks you out onto the outside curve. Then you set your cart up for the double apex left at the horseshoe. Uh, you sacrifice one of the two apexes. Uh, you, they hit the first one and then moved out wide across the track to take the second apex. Now through top bend we go. And Powell in third place. Behind it, Heron is being pushed along by Jamie Scott in fourth and fifth. And it's still the lead rookie is number 63 in sixth position, George Barker. Bartle is seventh. Morris is eighth. Taylor is ninth. And Connor Scare is brick with a 40.91 second lap last time around. Tenth place and bearing down on driver number 106, Jasmine Taylor for ninth. Here's a move for the race lead. Turnbull takes it. Three and a half minutes to go. New race leader, championship leader, number seven, Josh Turnbull. But Jamie Gurney slots back into his slipstream behind them. Sherry Ann Powell. Uh, Notice the drivers not overtly defending so much because they know that if they start to defend, they'll lose a lot of time. But uh, even though they're taking the racing line, they, that knows that potentially means they're going to get overtaken. Overtaking opportunities are bountiful here at Clay Pigeon. And uh, there's a move, Hart Herod to the inside of Billy's Brian Powell. 
doesn't really you know defend because she now slots back into heron slipstream and she knows that if they work together they will catch the two leaders and the top five this could be a great scrap to the end between turnbull in the number seven gurney in the number four powell in the number eight heron in the number three and scott in the number six the single digit drivers that is where they finished last year's daniel ricardo series in the drs 62 class so all five of these drivers top 10 contenders last year and looking for a championship win this time around there comes turnbull now, is gurney going to make move to the inside in the bellies the answer is yes he is he runs a little bit wide he's got second apex and sets himself up nice for run through the s's out of the s's onto sturmy straight now down towards the horseshoe that little dip on the inside of the horseshoe really spits the cart out on the exit set themselves up straight away sorry from the hairpin into the horseshoe which they're in now and then through turn number six which is flat out taking a nice wide entrance in the top bend to get the cart straightened up as best you can over the curves down the pit straight past the brand oh, a couple of years old now the clubhouse restaurant area shop into the S's once again. There's a battle in the fourth place. So Sherry Ann Powell getting passed by Jamie Scott. They're going into the S's. That has cost them a little bit of time. You can see Scott signaling to Sherry Ann Powell to push, push, push. Change of the lead once again as Turbill goes back in front of Gurney. Heron in the number three cart. Just playing a, a waiting game at the moment. Holding a watching brief over the top two. With over a minute remaining. A minute plus a lap behind this top five. Barker is still sixth. Morris seventh. Bartle eighth. Scare is bringing us up to ninth now with Taylor rounding out the top ten. There's a big gap back to Armstrong in eleventh. Ewan Scott is twelfth. Eddie Stewart thirteenth. Adam Ball fourteenth. Thomas Min Spearing is fifteenth. Then it is our pole man Jack Robinson down in sixteenth position. Finley Lines is next. And then the number one three cart, uh, one three one cart of Jackson Lane in eighteenth place with Jamie Warner and Oscar Cole rounding out the top twenty. top 20 we have got uh Daxton Groves 21st Maximilian Reed 22nd there's a move from Turnbull and there is Archie Heron now moving into second place the first time all race so Gurney back to third and uh Scott and Powell have re-caught them so five carts has won with 25 seconds to go heading off into Billy's Bride to start with lap number 12 uh, good to see all 20 what 25 of the 26 drivers that started this race still running uh, down towards uh the hairpin we go and Archie Heron takes the lead on lap number 12. So Heron moves into the lead for the first time all race. Turbo second, Gurney third, then it is Scott fourth and Powell fifth. Now we see a defensive line into top end for the first time. Archie Heron as the clock strikes zero. Wheel to wheel. As we start lap number 13, the final lap into Billy's Blind. Turnbull takes the lead. Gurney gets a great run. Gurney goes from third to first before they get to the S's. Heron, he was first, then he's second, then third. Now he's back to second. That was all in the space of two corners. And now Heron goes back to the lead at the hairpin. Oh, a little bit of wheel banging there. And uh, running wide is Gurney. Heron has the lead. Gurney jumps up over the back bumper of Heron's cart. That unsettles him. Jamie Scott moves into second place. It's now Turnbull and Gurney side by side for third. But it does look as though Archie Heron in cart number three with one corner to go has got this one in the bag. Finally, a great final lap from Archie Heron. He comes across the line. Checkered flag waves. And it is first blood of the day in DRS 62 to Archie Heron from Jamie Scott. Jamie Gurney in third position. Josh Turbull, championship leader in fourth place. There's another battle further back, flashing across the line. Ollie Morris finishing in sixth position. So the top five separated by less than a second at the end of 13 laps of racing. Scare is brick from the back up into seventh place. Great drive for Connor Skyersbrick. Then it is George Bake, George Barker in eighth position. Jasmine Taylor, a welcome top 10 result. On a track she knows very well for Jasmine. Then it is Harry Bartle in a 10th place. One, two, three, Rory Armstrong finishes in 13th position. And behind Armstrong, Eddie Stewart. 
Thomas Spearing finishing 13th, and Adam Bourne 14th, Ewan Scott 15th, Jack Robinson from the back of the grid at the 16th position, despite qualifying initially on pole. He'll be disappointed with that. Finley Lines is 17th, Jackson Lane 18th, and Jamie Warner in 19th, Thaxton Groves rounds out the top 20 ahead of Oscar Cole, Maximilian Reed in 22nd, Archie Pitts Drake, Zach McDonald, and Archie Cole. 25th place finisher, last driver still running. But there is a view of the dummy grid here at Clay Pigeon, head of the DRS 62 pre final. The grid will be as follows pole position, who after winning the heat was Archie Heron in cart number three, Jamie Scott. In cart number six starts on the outside of row number one. Jamie Gurney and Joshua Turnbull start on row two. Sherry Ann Powell and Ollie Morrish will go from row number three. Connor Scaris Brick from last to seventh in the heat. He starts on the inside of row four alongside George Barker with Jasmine Taylor and Harry Bartle rounding out the top ten. Rory Armstrong and Eddie Stewart are up next. Row number seven, and it's Thomas Min Spearing and Adam Bourne, row eight, Ewan Scott and Jack Robinson. Jack, don't forget, in cart number 129, pole position for the heat, but spun on the rolling lap at the start of the back. Came back through to 16th. He starts ahead of Finley Lines and Jackson Lane. On row number 10, we see Jamie Warner in cart number 101, making his return to the championship, and Daxton Groves. Row 11, Oscar Cole and Maximilian Reed. Row 12, Archie Pitts Drake and Zach McDonald. Row 13, Archie Cole and James Roberts, who sadly didn't start the heat, hopefully. James is out there now, and all 26 drivers will be able to make the start for this, their penultimate race of the day. It was a fantastic opener, the top six drivers, but now look, you've got Connor Skarisbrick back at the sharp end of the field where he qualified before he suffers an exclusion post-qualifying. He made up, he passed, well, he went from 25th to 7th in the heat race. And now he's with the lead group. And, of course, the top six drivers home in the first heat were all absolutely nose to tail, neck and neck. Just waiting for our grid marshal, Megan Tupholm, to give them the signal to start. She's there, forefront of your screen, waiting to blow the whistle and send them on their way out onto this 815 meter clay pigeon circuit. The skies are still blue, nice autumnal breeze in the air, but temperatures still unseasonably warm, as they have been across the southern UK for most of this week. There is the signal has been given, the engines have been fired, and now carts will make their way out on to the circuit two rolling laps and then we are in to the race itself now we did have a few false starts in the thing and there at the back of the grid is the number 114 cart of james roberts going out so all 26 drivers should be able to make it clean to the start hopefully they'll avoid any of the issues that befell them on the rolling lap, so we have no spinners, no incidents, no crashing. But uh, Heron leading the way, Ger uh, Scott, Turnbull, and Gurn, championship leader coming in today. Is number seven, Josh Turnbull, due to start from the inside of row two on the grid. So in one rolling lap, now we'll see the drivers beginning to slow down, get into two-by-two two formation. Oh, dear. Now, out of the, my commentary box, which is opposite the start-finish line, I can see that in front of me, which is raw, which is actually Thomas Mean Spearing, who has, well, he's speared off into the tyres, and I've got a feeling that's going to be a delayed start. He's sitting in the car, there's a marshal with him, just to make sure that he's OK. Race director uh, Matt Daniels is there as well. Drivers being told to slow down, and I cannot believe for a moment we're going to go racing just yet. And oh, I have to say, I have just swatted a wasp in the commentary box. But one shot, one kill. Boom. So I'm on target. Let's see if the rest of the drivers are on target. I've left a bit of a nasty sm sm 
me there on the window, but not not any of you <laughs> watching this back home want to know about my wasp killing ability in the commentary box window. Uh, ah, now there's a red flag, and they all come to a standstill, bump, 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 bump into each other. As uh, oh, they want, they're all turning over, saying, "You hit me! You hit me! Will you stop in front of me?" Luckily, the most important thing of all is that number one, two, four, Thomas Spearing is out of his cart and walking uh, across the circuit. He looks to be okay, probably a little bit downhearted. Uh, cart is all right. Let's go and speak to Andy. Oh, well, what happened was is that uh, somebody turned around and uh, spun me, and I crashed. It wasn't my fault, honest. So he heads back, and you can see him trudging off back to part for me the good news is he's going to be upset now but he'll be back out for the final the main event later on he's not start with the back of the grid but he's a-ok -okay. and we are down to 25 contenders we have, the reason we stopped it is because there was a he went into the tire barriers and took a knock Drivers are all going to get out now, and I think they're going to have a little chat with the race director, Matt Daniels. So, obviously, this commentary is not only going out of the live stream, but it's going out to the paddock as well. So, rather than distract the drivers by talking over race director Matt Daniels, I will shut up, to coin a phrase, as the drivers shut up and listen to the race director about how to correctly start a go kart race. We'll be back shortly. Bumper one good. So as you can see, the uh, drivers are now heading back to the carts. So apologies for the break in sound there, but of course, uh, well, Matt Daniels is, is is addressing the DRS 62 drivers. Um, he doesn't need me to be shouting at about how many wasps I've killed in the commentary box. I mean, I'm sorry for any nature lovers out there. I mean, I'm a nature lover, but I mean, when you're a wasp, you know, you're not part of nature. You're you're there to inflict pain on others and. Uh, you're not quick enough, you get pain inflicted upon yourself. And I have left a rather impressive smear on the commentary box window, so I do apologise to Clay Pigeon Cart Club and whoever has the misfortune of cleaning the commentary box after I've been in there. It's a. Uh, no, I did. I was so getting ahead of myself by swatting said wasp and ending its existence, not sending, sending it on to its next existence. I didn't realise that I, I sort of lost in the excitement of the fact that I was doing it with a full bottle of Coca-Cola, which I've just opened, much to the detriment of my trousers, which have now got sticky Coca-Cola on them, which of course will attract more wasps, which is lovely. Great thinking there, Henry. Ah, see. So, we have now got a restart, which is going to be forthcoming very shortly. Drivers being put back in 
the original order. It's a restart, sadly, which will take place without uh, driver number 124, Thomas Spearing. So 25 drivers set to do battle. Of course, the grid official there getting the drivers back into their correct position. Now, it's, is it? We have chatting on social media. Um, we've got uh, people cheering on Jake Robinson in cart number 129 in this race. And uh, Ollie Morish as well, all being supported online at the moment. Thank you to everybody for tuning in wherever you are in the world. And uh, there you see fantastic sunny Sunday afternoon here. We've got six races to go. Now, of course, there's been a slight delay in the program, so there's probably not going to be a great gap before the next race out. So we've got the pre-final here in DRS 62. The next race up will be the pre-final for DRS 100, and then the pre-final for DRS 125. And shortly after those finishes, the last three races of the day, the grand finals themselves. Now, of course, this grid was decided on where each driver finished in the heat race. The final grid, and I will stand to be corrected, I'm sure somebody will correct me, um, but it's going to be either decided that the, the final grid is going to be decided in one of two ways. It's either going to be the results directly of this race or the points that each driver has accumulated in the racing up to this point today. So we'll see you later on, but of course consistency being the key. Uh, got to be consistently good to start up at the front. Now there's been one or two drivers that found themselves out of position and they're being moved into position as soon as those drivers are into place. So we've got to yes, George Barker in cart number 63 starting as the leading rookie in this race. He's getting some uh, online love from the chat. People watching this on the Daniel Ricciardo series Facebook page, on the Alpha Live Facebook page and YouTube channel. Now, engine notes are fired once again. Of course, all the drivers have, I say they've, you know, well, I don't know what, what, what would Matt Daniels have said then? He's probably giving him right. See this book here? And he's got, and the driver's gone, yes. It's called the Riot Act. Read it. Because we had several false starts in the heat. We've had well, the problem is that they've been it's not been the false starts, it's been the amount of spinning and crashing that's gone on. And it's because the drivers set off and they go far too fast. And now they've got it all slowed down. And of course the drivers at the back have then got to catch up and slow down. Well, because we had that incident at Mugello in the Formula One. I'm not saying Kart racing, not Formula One, but you can see what happens when, you know, in any form of racing, suddenly those at the front of the pack slam on the brakes to slow down to formation. The drivers that are going full chat behind them, some of them just can't get slowed down, and some of them can't. Now, looks like the formation is good. Archie Heron in cart number three, and Jamie Scott in cart number six. Off and racing down towards Billy Blind Week, Billy's Blind Week go. The leaders all through safely, and the whole field does get through turn number one. Nice and cleanly. Now they're into the S's with Archie Heron leading the way in cart number three. On the outside line there, you can see Jamie Gurney starting into second place. Sherry Ann Powell in fourth position behind Connor Skarisbrick in cart number one, two, one. So a great start, start for Skarisbrick, and he... Well, he started this race seventh. He's already into the top three. And uh, see the lead group trying to put some distance between themselves and the chasing pack. There is your leading rookie. And that's the number one, two, three is the leading rookie at the moment, which is Rory Armstrong up near the front. Here we go. First change of lead. Jamie Gurney to the inside. Archie Heron on the outside of Billy's blind. Heron down to second. Gurney moves into top spot. And there is... Uh, Number 101 cart, Jamie Warner there at the back of the pack, quite a luminous yellow crash helmet. And uh, going through your screens there, number 111, that was Eddie Stewart. But up at the front, there's Scarisbrick in the uh, black helmet with the green race numbers on it. Number 121 in this one. He comes into top bend now, and already now Archie Heron has got the lead. No, it's Gurney with the lead as we complete 
lap number two will go on to lap number three and Gurney has got a bit of a breakaway on here there's Heron in second place in cart number three being chased by Scarra's Brick uh, then it's uh, losing a position there was Sherry Ann Powell so Turnbull the championship leader Arthur Rissington moves into fourth place Powell down to fifth but uh, really Heron in the number three cart Scarra's Brick in the number one two one have got to start working together to close that gap down to Jamie Gurney and of course the flow of this circuit now of course the fi each of these classes are on fixed gearing set by the championship but uh, the gearing they've set here is quite low they're still turning 12,000 rpm near and near enough in DRS 62 but uh, if you make a mistake it takes a lot longer to get the cart back up to full speed so it's being smooth Maintaining the momentum is critical. There's Sherry Ann Powell, and behind Sherry Ann Powell is number 106, Jasmine Taylor, who's just been passed by Jamie Scott. So, uh, cart number six, Jamie Scott moves into sixth position. Jasmine Taylor in cart 106 drops back to seventh. Uh, leading rookie at the moment is the number, the leading cart rookie by rookie, I mean, that is the cart with the black plates and white numbers. It's number one, two, three, Rory Armstrong, then George Barker with ninth, Harry Barker tenth, Eddie Stewart with eleventh. There goes Scarris Brick up the inside of Heron for second place. It's still Jamie Gurney who leads though as we complete lap number four. The lead train snake across the start finish line to complete another lap. Down towards Billy's Blind we go. Scarris Brick now closing in on race leader Jamie Gurney. Jamie Scott sets a new fastest lap of the race in sixth position now he and he's just giving us some of the signal there so yep that's great let's push on let's go let's work together two four six seven carts all in a line and side by side for the race lead scaris brick takes top spot for the first time all day heron trying to get through as well but gurney holds on to second place heron back to p3 fourth is joshua turnbull in cart number seven sherry ann powell is eighth in cart number eight jamie scott Sherry Powell is fifth, well, sorry, in cart number eight. Jamie Scott is sixth in cart number six. And Jasmine Taylor, doing a sterling job of holding on for the lead group, is there in P7. Change of second place. Gurney slips back behind Heron as they come through the S's. On to Sturmy straight. Now down towards the hairpin. Turnbull looks to the inside of Gurney, but slots back into line. Sherry Ann Powell defending fifth position from Jamie Scott. Although Scott gets the inside, they go into the horseshoe. So Powell back to sixth. Still Taylor there in seventh. Rory Armstrong hanging on well in eighth place. So in fact now there's an eight cart group at the front of the field. Then ninth and tenth battling away. That was George Barker and Harry Barthel just flashing through your screen. Ollie Morish runs in eleventh, followed by Stewart, Robinson, Scott, Bourne, Lane, Lines, Warner, Cole, and Reed, your top twenty. Three it's under it's over three and a half minutes remaining plus a lap of this race. Connor Scarra's brick now. He, once he's got into the lead, he's actually trying to pull away a little bit. Not the second he's got in hand over Archie Heron. So Archie Heron in the number three cart needs the number four of Jamie Gurney with a blue Gurney with a blue race suit, black crash helmet on. He needs Gurney to really start pushing him along, pushing him up to the front. Because Scarra's brick at the moment is not quite out of the slipstream but he's getting towards that way as they come on to the start finish straight they plunge downhill look at that perfect example of how gurney is helping heron along there and he looks to the inside at billy's blind takes the position heron runs a little bit wide heron's going to come back into line now he's going to get a really good run is the number three cart down sturby straight so he can push gurney along and they are catching the race leader great tactical driving there by gurney in the four heron in the three turnbull in the number seven cart is there as well Still Sherry Ann Powell and Jasmine Taylor in this lead group as well. Seven drivers, Rory Armstrong in the number one, two, three cart, the leading rookie has slipped back a little bit, but a great seven cart slipstream at the front. Jasmine Taylor pushing Sherry Ann Powell along down towards Billy's Blind, but it is scary as brick by a whisker, two and a half minutes to go. From Gurney, then Heron, new fastest lap for number six, Jamie Scott in cart number six, running in fifth position. And uh, Scott has been able to put a little bit of clean air between himself and Sherry Ann Powell and Jasmine Taylor. So Sherry Ann and Jasmine are now going to work together to close back into this lead group. We're on lap number nine, two minutes to go. Into top bend, come the lead group in DRS 62. This is the perfect type of racing that Clay Pidgey was built for. You've got to set a driver up half a lap in advance before you make a move. Momentum is the key. Size them up. Use the draft. Use the slipstream. Work with your rivals when you have to. 
using lots of curb there through the S's. Now down to Sturmey Street. A lot of drivers say if you want to make a move into this corner here, you've got to start planning your move coming out of the final corner half a lap previously. Just because of the flowing nature of this classic circuit. It's been here since 1963. Yeah, just over the Dorset border, not far from the town of Yeovil. A lot of the uh, officials stayed in last night. Oof, I've got to say, yes, uh, it's a different place, is Yeovil. <coughs> Lovely, I'm sure, but uh, different. Now, into Billy's Blind. The leaders have caught Scarisbrick. So it's now a five cart train with Ann, Sherry Ann Powell and Jasmine Taylor. Got a couple of cart lengths to make up. Where will Gurney make his move? The answer is there. Scarisbrick now gets shuffled to the outside at the hairpin. He's got the inside line for the running the horseshoe, but Gurney able to make the move. Heron's there, there in third. And it's Turnbull. Turnbull now moves offline to try and tuck. He's going to try and tuck underneath third place car. Archie Heron coming in this corner, as he? No. He stays in line. Sherry Ann Powell has now recaught this group. Six cards in the lead battle with 106 Jasmine Taylor working hard to stay in touch. 30 seconds to go. Next time around, they should get the last lap board. Scarish Brick takes a wide line into Billy's. He's got to be. He's going to get a good run out of onto Sturmey Straight. Is cart number 121, Connor Scarra's brick. Will he dive up the inside and take the lead? Gurney's defending, however. Gurney holds on out of the hairpin. Into the horseshoe we go. Double apex left. You come out of the horseshoe, run, run wide. Sort of sacrifice turn six. It's flat out. They threw that now. Now in the top bend. So they come through top bend. They descend downhill to the start finish line. F last lap board goes out. It is Gurney leading. Scarish Brick in second. Heron in third. Turbo fourth. Scott fifth. Powell sixth. Taylor seventh. One and a half seconds separate the top seven as they come out of the S's. On the Sturmy straight for the final time. Scarish Brick looks to the inside. Gurney gives him room. Wheel to wheel. Round the hairpin. Scaris Brick takes the race lead. And Heron grabs second at the horseshoe. And Heron runs Gurney very wide. It's three wide through turn number six. That has given Scarish Brick the gap he needs. Out of the final corner. It's driver number three, Archie Heron in second place. Josh Turbell in third, Gurney fourth. Scott fifth, Powell sixth, Taylor seventh. They flash across the line. A win for Connor Scarish Brick by two tenths of a second over Archie Heron. The top seven separated by less than one second. Fantastic race there. And in eighth place, the leading rookie home, Harry Bartle, in cart number 127. Great effort there from Harry. George Barker coming home in ninth. Rory Armstrong rounding out the top ten. Uh, they were having a, uh, a good battle amongst themselves. They were all in a big queue of carts as well. Eighth, ninth and tenth. Outside the top ten. Let me bring the timing screen up on my uh, mobile telephonic device. Uh, outside the top 10, Ollie Morris finishing 11th, Jack Robinson finishing 12th, Ewan Scott 13th, followed by Adam Bourne in 14th, Jackson Lane 15th, Finley Line 16th, Jamie Warner finishes in 17th, followed by Eddie Stewart 18th, Zach McDonald 19th, and Oscar Cole rounding out the top 20. 21st was Maximilian Reed, 22nd, Daxon Groves, 23rd, Archie Pitts Drake, 24th, Archie Cole, and James Roberts, Finishes 25th. Sadly, of course, we lost uh, Thomas Spearing before the start of the race. Hopefully, though, he'll be back out in time for the final. So there is a look down at the starting lineup. Oh dear, there's a look at uh, one of our DRS 62. Dan's just getting a picture for the, the collection. There's Archie Heron. And again, that's Josh Turbill's dad taking the photo of Archie Heron and the, uh, you know, and the front. And Josh Turbill starts behind them. And just to give you a show that, you know, the, the parents are obviously there working with their own sons and daughters' carts. But, uh, you know, guarantee if one of those drivers, here's the grid, Archie Heron and Jamie Gurney will share the front row. Now, this is the, based on the points they've accumulated throughout the day. Josh Turnbull and Jamie Scott are on row two. Sherry Ann Powell and Jack Robinson are on row three. Ollie Morris and George Barker are on row four. Jasmine Taylor and Harry Bartle are on row five. Rory Armstrong 
and Ewan Scott are on row six. Row seven is Adam Bourne with Eddie Stewart. Finley Lines and Jackson Lane is on row eight. Thomas Spearing. Now, hopefully Thomas is out there in cart number one, two, four. He starts 17th with Jamie Warner. And then Maximilian Reed and James Roberts on row 10. Daxton Groves and Oscar Cole, row 11. Now, Connor Scaris, Brick, he had that win earlier, but of course he had that exclusion as well. He is down in 23rd on the grid. So he's got it all to do again. Archie Pitts Drake, 24th. Zach McDonald and Archie Cole round out the field. So, of course, Scarrow's brick. You're thinking, why is he? You know, he had a seventh in the heat, and then he won the pre-final. Yeah, but he scored zero points for an exclusion in qualifying. That is why he is down there, and he's got it all to do again. He's got 10 minutes, yeah, a little bit longer time to do that. Now, before we went through the grid, I was saying that, you know, you'll see that because each driver is only allowed, you know, one mechanic, and it's generally the parents. Um, but you will see that if one driver has a problem down the dummy grid, then you'll see other parents and helpers try to make sure that child, you know, they are children, aged between 8 and 13, those drivers do go out. Now, a couple of them, oh, wow, we know you've got some umbrellas going out. This is the life of a racing driver. I'm just going to sit here, cool my fevered brow. You know, there's one dad there. Oh, you know, driver turns around, Jamie Scott turns around in cart number six and says, well, no, dad, actually, uh, it's uh, me that needs to drive at uh, the umbrella. You just uh, cool me off. You know, I don't mind you getting a sunburn. It is now very warm, and uh, there we go. Hold your own umbrella, Jamie. How's that? There we are. Of course, I think the professional racing drivers, they got someone else to hold their umbrella. I know, but you're a cadet, and this is Clay Pigeon, not Monte Carlo. Oh, well, I'm saying that, though. Clay Pigeon, this is where Lando Norris and Jensen Button both started their karting careers. Jensen Button from nearby Froome. And uh, in Somerset, and uh, Lando Norris from Glastonbury, which is also down by your in this neck of the woods, which is right down by your. It is not over by there. It's down by your Clay Pigeon, Torset. I loves it. I do. Archie Heron at the moment loving it in cart number three because he starts this race from pole position. We had a seven cart battle for honours in the pre-final. Now, Archie will be listening. He'll be thinking to himself, right, I want to try and break away. But he knows the chances of breaking away in this race are small. And the chances are that there's going to be a lot of drivers with him to battle with throughout this race. Not if you agree, Archie. Yes, he agrees. Lots of drivers to battle with. There we go. This is excellent communication. Shows they're listening. Josh Turnbull's nodding. saying, yes, I'm going to be right behind him all the way. And then I'm going to overtake him. And hopefully I'm going to win this race. And number four card, Jamie Gurney. He's thinking, yeah, you guys carry on. I'm going to come and do you all. And Sherry Ann Powell at the back there. She's saying, right, I hope my dad's not un undoing my tyre. I hope he's doing it nice and tight because I plan on uh, having a really good start. No, he's, he's an Allen key. Just care careful. You don't want to let him loose with an Allen key. Um, Sherry's thinking... Sherry's had a, having a really good day as well. Also had a, having an excellent day is driver number 106, Yasmin Taylor. She's been, uh, she had a strong seventh place finish in the pre-final. She's starting a little bit behind there. I think you can see that in the red jacket, that's Andy Taylor, her dad, just giving her a couple of words, final words of advice. Uh, Jasmine, don't listen to a word he says. No, I'm joking. Uh, Jasmine's got her own plans going out there. But again, this is, a, you know, the drivers, you've seen how close this DRS 2 class is. But uh, the majority of them, they're all, you know, good friends and they all support each other. The parents all support each other as well. And this paddock is very different to a lot of other paddocks in karting. You know, not so much this year, obviously, with social distancing, but quite often, certainly last season, you could see, you know, groups of parents also, they, they park their, like, their camper vans or they park their cart vans, you know, sort of like, you know, like in a, in a square. So you've got one central sort of area to work from. They're all, they can all chill out and have a beer and, well, the, the kids can't. The kids can have, a, you know, an early night and be racing drives. The parents can have you know a beer and they can eat together and they can all sit around and enjoy the saturday night the circuit which is uh, part of the social side of karting that has been sort of forgotten about and lost a little bit in the last decade or so as the big teams have coming in and taken over but of course this championship no teams and it does mean that it's a, a lot more friendly you know people a lot more people stay at the circuit and a lot more people normally under normal circumstances and a lot more people socialize together off track but the racing is always just as fearsome on track indeed. Now, Archie Heron's having a little look over his shoulder just to remind himself who's where. Um, 
And you've got about two minutes to go before the start of this race. Hopefully all 26 drivers are going to go out and hopefully none of them are going to spin on the rolling lap. Now, of course, Matt Daniels has had his word with them. And they should all be behaving themselves nicely. And uh, I have to say, the temperature has gone up considerably. It was due to about 22, 23 degrees. And yeah, you can see Heron getting a little bit, uh, you know, getting a bit of a breeze in the mask there. And uh, yeah, they need a fan. So I think what Turnbull and Heron are doing there, they need an assistant to come over and just sort of like wait, wave a fan to keep them cool. Like the sound of that they do. Yep, nodding their heads. And again, this commentary going out not only to our friends at our friends not watching the l Alpha live stream back home and there are people tuning in from all over the place uh, family members drivers who aren't here and just general fans of top level kart racing and so we're now waiting this is the grand final for DRS 62 set to start very shortly indeed There's a signal to start the engines. Green flag waves out onto the circuit we go. Grand final time here at round two of the 2020 Daniel Ricciardo series at the Clay Pigeon Raceway in Dorset. 10 minutes plus one lap decide who takes the honours and of course there's no trophy presentation here because of the social distancing rules the drivers get their trophies at the end of this race as soon as the scrutineer is happy that they have passed technical inspection Archie Heron in cart number three Jamie Gurney in cart number four Josh Turnbull in cart number seven up at the front also set to play a major role the number eight of Sherry Ann Powell the number six of Jamie Scott Number 106 of Jasmine Taylor and watch for driver 121 Connor Scarisbrick to make big early progress. But it's Heron in cart three, Gurney in cart four, championship leader and winner at Brissington. Last time out, Turnbull in cart number seven. And then you have Scott in cart six, Sherry Ann Powell in cart eight. Some of the leading rookies, the likes of Rory Armstrong, George Barker, Harry Barthel. Watch for Jasmine Taylor in cart 106. Watch for Connor Scarisbrick in cart 1-2-1. Looks like they're behaving themselves much better now in this race. There is Scarisbrick at the back of the field. Black crash helmet, green graphics on the helmet. Cox tell them nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. They come to the line. Lights are out. We're off and racing here. Ten minutes plus a lap in the grand final for DRS. Oh, and there's a spin. And there's two carts, three carts, four carts spinning. And who is that? Oh, Scarry's Brit. No, it's 113 is one of them. Ollie Morris. So Morris from a really good grip position has lost ground there. Couldn't quite see all the numbers. We'll pick them up as they come around, but it is Archie Heron who leads, Josh Turnbull in second, Jamie Gurney is third, Sherry Ann Powell up in the fourth place. Then it's Jamie Scott in fifth. In sixth position, looks like the leading rookie at the moment. Trying to see who that is. I think that is number 127 card of Harry Bartle. End of lap number one. Yellow flags waving at this corner. Billy's point. You can see two or three drivers still at the side of the circuit and i'm hoping that uh, all those drivers are going in single file uh, as they pass the yellow flags yeah. let's see it is heron turnbull gurney they come into top bend now there's still carts on the circuit the outside of billy's you've got uh, several drs series officials on track and if i have to say whilst we're watching that 
the score in the commentary box is now Henry 2, Wasps 0, which is an improvement over 1 0, which is the score a minute ago. Let's see. They're still racing down there. It is Heron, Turbo, Gurney, Powell, Scott, Bartle, Barker, Armstrong, Robinson, Taylor. That's your top 10. You and Scott 11th, Bourne 12th. Then it's Lines, Roberts, Warner, Scarisbrick 16th. Then it's Oscar Cole. Then behind Oscar Cole, it is the number 116 cart of. Now that's the driver's not on my entry list. Just A. Cole. Archie Pitts Drake is 19th. Ollie Morris recovering in 20th position. On to lap number four. Still Heron. Look at that chain of carts at the front of the grid. Uh, sorry, it's Archie Cole in 21st. Archie Pitts Drake 22nd. Eddie Stewart, Jackson Lane, and Max Reed are out of this one. And I don't think James. No, James Roberts is out there. And I don't think, sadly, uh, we had Thomas Spearing out for this one. So we're down to 22 drivers in this early stage of the race. Heron. Tibble. There is Gurney in third. Sherry Ann Powell chasing him on in fourth place. Around Billy's. Now the track is finally clear. And uh, lap five. No yellow flags there. Behind Powell, Jamie Scott. And look at the leading rookies. Bartle in cart number 127. Number 123 of Barker. Then it's Armstrong. And of course, then we've got number 129 of Jack Robinson. Robinson, of course, who was fast in qualifying, then spun on the rolling lap of the first heat and at the start of the back there's Sherry Ann Powell holding off uh, Jamie Scott for fourth place Heron leads but only by seven hundredth of a second from Turnbull Gurney is eight tenths back but he's still in the slipstream there's fourth and fifth fourth and fifth Sherry Ann Powell in fourth and Scott in fifth sixth is the leading rookie Bartle under pressure from Barker coming around Billy's into the chicane side by side for the top rookie position and it's Bartle who comes out in front Bartle now up in the sixth position. Barker is seventh, Armstrong eighth, Robinson ninth, and Jasmine Taylor right at the back of that group in tenth place. That's a little look where Jasmine Taylor is. So you've got the four black plate white numbered drivers. And then the 106 of Taylor. We've got a little bit of a damaged NASA panel by the looks of it. So maybe she may have been caught up a little bit in that first lap incident. But Taylor now trying to close in and slipstream past these four leading rookies great battle so all these four drivers first year championship drivers one two seven harry bartle leads the one two three does he oh armstrong up the inside briefly bartle hangs on then it's the number 120 of 20 129 of robinson and the 63 of barker and then all this battling is allowing jasmine taylor in carton of 106 to close right in now taylor an extra year's worth of experience for her we've got a change of lead josh turnbull the rissington winner has moved into top spot they're coming up to lap uh a slower driver and I think well that's much of a slower driver it's one of the drivers that is recovering from that first lap incident I think it's the number 116 cart of Archie Cole and what will he do because you've got Turnbull no you've got it's it is Turnbull in the seven then the four of Gurney then the three of Heron and you can see Cole getting out of the way good driving there by Archie Cole to get out of the way Top three are clear. Jamie Scott I think has got fourth place now just in front of Sherry Ann Powell, but they've dropped away a bit, so it's a three-cart battle. No, it's still Powell in fourth, Scott in fifth, but they are uh, over a second and a half behind this group, the top three on circuit. Scott fourth, Powell fifth. Then another gap of a second back to the leading rookies. One and a half seconds, in fact. Bartle, Armstrong, Robinson and Barker, and they have got... Taylor right with them. Then it's Adam Bourne in 11th. Ewan Scott 12th. Scaris Brick is up in the 13th place. Then it's Roberts 14th. Lines 15th. Warner 16th. Morris 17th. McDonald 18th. Oscar Cole 19th. And Daxton Groves rounds out the top 20. Four minutes to go. And Gurney has the lead in cart number four there's the battle for fourth place on your screen number six jamie scott leads sherry Ann powell by about a length and a half of a cart into billy's again sherry Ann powell got a good run through the inside bounces over the curves onto sturmy straight we go there's the leader number four flashing across your screen 
He has got his hands full with Turnbull in the seven and Heron in the three. Turnbull looks to the inside coming into the horseshoe, but uh, he stays second. Now, here's this leading rookie battle. There's Barker trying to get to the inside of Armstrong. Leading at the moment in this group is the number 127 of Bartle. So Harry Bartle is sixth overall and having a great run. Jasmine Taylor at the back of this group. In cart number 106. Now, what can Jasmine do? She's got two carts side by side in front of her. Now, will she try and sweep wide on the entrance of the corner? The duck underneath coming through Billy's. Oh, Armstrong in the number 123. Runs a little bit wide. Barker gets him back. On the Sturmy straight we go. And let's have a little look. Will Taylor look to the inside into the hairpin? No, she follows the line in the number 123 cart. We've got three minutes to go. And uh, again, Barker looks to the inside of driver number 129. That is Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson holds on. This is all helping the number 127 of Harry Bartle, who is pulling away a little bit. There goes Connor Scarisbrick through your screen briefly. He is in 13th place. But the problem he's got is that he's got nearly two seconds to make up before he gets to the 12th place driver, number 92, Ewan Scott. Here are the leaders. Once again, lap number 12. Two and a quarter minutes to go. Into the hairpin. Out of the hairpin, up towards the horseshoe. Gurney leads, Turnbull second. Passing another slower cart. That is touring back a bit. I think that might be Archie Pitts Drake, who is about to retire. There they go. Gurney, Turnbull and Heron. Just like that, into Billy's blind for the 13th time. Number four, Jamie Gurney has the lead. Second in the, third in the final at Rissington. Second in the championship. Turnbull has that championship lead, but will want to take this win regardless. Again, a four round championship, not really enough rounds to play a tactical game. It's try and win every race you can. Every point matters more than what would the normal eight round championship be. And there is Archie Heron in cart three, the pole sitter. Got a little bit of work to do now. He's got just over a minute to close back in but Jamie Gurney is stretching his lead ever so slightly he is going so quickly that Turnbull can't get on terms with him Gurney defends a little bit down the Sturmy straight but then pulls out and takes the wide line into the hairpin Turnbull can't quite get on terms with the race leader Another slower cart in front of them now. That's Tom. Oh, that is Thomas Spearing, who has gone out in cart number 124. Is it? Let's have a little look there. No, it's the number 126, sorry, of Daxton Groves in 20th position, who is about to be put a lap down. Now, Daxton will see the blue flags coming up very shortly. We'll see the Marshall Post halfway down the Sturmy Strait probably display a blue flag. No, we don't. And Groves gets out of the way. Very good driving there. Very good awareness by Daxton Groves. There's Sherry Ann Powell, who is in fifth position, chasing Jamie Scott. Still sixth, the leading rookie, Harry Bartle. Uh, Jasmine Taylor is up at the ninth place now, so it's Bartle in sixth, Barker seventh, Robinson in eighth, Taylor ninth, and then Armstrong down to tenth position. Bourne still runs eleventh from Ewan Scott, and Scarisbrick is twelfth. It's thirteenth, rather. So, last lap begins. Number four, Jamie Gurney. Has he done enough? It certainly looks like... He knows he doesn't have to defend now, does Jamie Gurney. He's checked over his shoulder once in this lap. He doesn't need to check over his shoulder going down the Sturmy straight. He's a little bit too defensive, though. Is that going to give Jamie Tur uh, J Joshua Turnbull half a whiff of victory? I don't think it will. Josh Turnbull is more preoccupied with making sure that Archie Heron doesn't get through. There's a lapsed cart in front of them, but that's not going to bother Jamie Gurney. And, oh, maybe it does. The lap driver, there's no inside. Jamie Gurney's on. Gurney has to go around the outside there. But he hangs on. Oh, it was a very nervous last corner with the lap driver not quite sure where the leaders were. But number four, Jamie Gurney takes the unofficial victory. Subject, of course, to post-race scrutineering. Gurney wins from Turnbull in second so the championship leader finishing second this time out jamie gurney that's his best result 
obviously, so far. Archie Heron, well, another a solid third place finish. That's good for his championship. He will finish third. Jamie Scott finishes fourth. Another top five result for Sherry Ann Powell. She was fifth at Rissington. She was fifth here. Leading rookie home. A fantastic sixth place finish for Harry Bartle. Well, he was tenth at Rissington, but he needed to go a lot better. He needed to finish the top six to be the top rookie here, and he did so. Then it's George Barker in seventh. Jasmine Taylor comes home in eighth place. That's a great top ten result for Jasmine. Uh, ninth for Rory Armstrong. Tenth for Connor Scaris Brick. What an up and down day he has had. But Scaris Brick, third in the championship, salvaging, I suppose, the best he could after that exclusion from qualifying. Adam Bourne finishes 11th. Jack Robinson comes home in 12th. And Ewan Scott, James Roberts in 14th. And Ollie Morris recovers well after his spin on the opening lap. He finishes 15th. Head of Finley Lines, Jamie Warner, Zach McDonald, Oscar Cole. And rounding out the top 20, Daxton Groves with Archie Pittsdrake and Archie Cole next. Sadly, Eddie Stewart, Jackson Lane, Max Reed, and Thomas Spearing failed to finish.